Hey YouTube, it's Jeff at Dark Blue Metals. So in today's video, I want to make myself something that's going to make it easier for me to work in my shop. Some of you may know from keeping track on Facebook or just watching the last video, I sustained some kind of an injury to my arm and shoulder. Couldn't figure out what it was. I finally got a chance to see a doctor a couple days ago and it was explained to me exactly what went wrong and why I'm in a lot of pain all the time. And it's not as bad as I thought. Uh, the bad news is it is going to take about two years to fully recover and get all the mobility back in my arm, but the good news is the pain that I am feeling when I overextend or do something that I think is wrong because it hurts a lot um, may actually be helping the problem and it's not making it worse. It, it's actually making it a little bit better. So I'll explain more about what's going on at the end of the video for those of you who are interested in that kind of an update. But today, I want to share with you a small project that I'm going to do to make my life a little bit easier while everything up here is healing and getting to where it should be. Alright guys, as you can see, I've got a boat trailer sitting in the background, and this is one of the projects I need to get done today. Now, what I used to do is move these trailers around by hand, just pick it up, walk around the driveway with it. I was physically able to do that, and I have to accept the fact that I'm getting a little older, and I'm not as young as I used to be, I can't be doing this stuff like I did in my 20s. So I need a little bit of help. And for me, hitching this thing up to my truck and trying to manipulate it in the driveway, it's a huge pain in the butt and I still can't get it to where it exactly needs to be. So I got to thinking, what could I use as a tow motor, something that's small enough that will allow me to manipulate the trailer and move it around and get it into positions that would make it easier for me to weld. So here's the solution I came up with. All right guys, this is the workhorse that I have chosen to make into my tow motor. This is my Xmark lawn tractor. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's got like a 22 or 23 horsepower motor on it. The wheels are all hydraulically driven and it is plenty powerful to move just about any trailer that I could fit in this yard provided of course the trailer is uh, empty and that there's no load on it at all, no boats or anything like that. So what am I going to do? I am going to be making a receiver that'll fit on this top bar right here for a trailer hitch and that's going to be my project for today. So here's the deal. That bar on the tractor is shaped kind of like this. It's not perfectly square, it has an angled front. So what I would like to do is create a piece of metal that follows the contour of that bar. Have a bottom plate, and then have a bolt and nut design that'll come through here and kind of sandwich everything together. I just took my rough measurements for the top piece and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool right here and for the life of me, I'm, I'm so embarrassed because I can't remember what this is called, but basically it's a gauge that uh, figures out angles and you can transcribe the angles to other pieces of material. Um, if you remember what the proper name for this tool is, please leave it in the comments because I, I honestly feel like an idiot that I have forgotten. But basically the way it works, you match up your two angles and you lock the blade in position with the swing nut and that is the angle that I need so my piece matches and can mate up to this frame. For the clamping mechanism itself I've opted to use quarter inch thick steel plate and I'll be cutting out the parts that I need from the plasma cam.
Alright YouTube, I got my holes drilled and I made the bottom plate off camera. The way this is going to work, I'm going to have the plate sitting on the tractor housing itself on that bar. Uh, this is a 5 inch piece of, I believe it's inch by 2 inch, and this will sit here. Uh, I have beveled the back of this so the angle iron will sit flush and I'm going to weld the seam here and around the base and all I'm going to do is drop a trailer hitch ball in. Uh, I'm going to weld the nut in place so I can just unscrew the hitch and put it a size down if I need to or go up a size but I'm not going to use a receiver because the amount of time it's going to actually have to change this ball out is going to be so minuscule it's not worth going out and buying the receiver portion of this project so the whole thing's pretty much going to be made out of scrap so I'm going to get ready to weld all this out but first I need to prepare Lord hear my prayers forgive me it's been almost 13 days since I've welded you are an idiot you should have been a carpenter get back to work hey If you guys noticed something a little bit off in that last shot, uh, yeah, I'm right there with you. It wasn't until I felt a hot spark hit my arm that I realized I was welding in a short sleeve shirt. Something that you should never do. So, here's my welding jacket. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to finish my project. All right, YouTube, there it is. Let's take her out for a test drive. Alright YouTube, that pretty much takes care of the build and the project that I wanted to get done before I started that boat trailer job. Now, for those of you who do want to stick around and have an update on what's going on with Dark Moon Metals and everything else, um, it has been a rough couple of months and you might just get that from the number of videos that haven't been posted by us. Uh, I have been going through a lot of different things in life and I actually started writing a book and uh, I've been getting very involved in mental health advocacy and uh, we've been going around the state, we've been doing um, classes on mental health awareness, suicide prevention, uh, goals groups, uh, peer leadership and peer empowerment. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, who haven't been around the channel that long, I do suffer from depression and uh, that's just one of the things that make me who I am and recently I've had some things happen in my life where the depression that I suffer from just kind of went into high gear. And um, I don't want to get into any of that, any of the drama and bore you with it, but one of the reasons why I haven't been in the shop lately and the other elements that contribute to my depression is me not being able to be productive. Um, I thought I tore uh, a muscle in my bicep and it took me a while to get hooked up with the right people for physical therapy. Uh, started doing physical therapy and there was like almost no improvement, so they said okay, you need to go see an orthopedic surgeon. So went to go check out the orthopedic surgeon, went to that office, and they took a couple of x-rays and they discovered something that's kind of neat. Um, basically my body overcompensated when I dislocated or screwed up my rotator cuff. Um, I had a rotator cuff injury on the right side not too long ago, probably about four years ago or so, and it was really stiff, but I didn't have anywhere near the amount of pain um, that I was in with this one. So I thought it was something completely different. As it turns out, the ball uh, that's in your shoulder, how it links into the socket, there's a layer of tissue or something around it that's about the thickness of a piece of paper. And from what I understand, that barrier, that wrap 
um, is what helps lubricate your joint. Me being diabetic, when that was damaged, my body overcompensated and just really thickened that layer up. So it's no longer the thickness of a piece of paper, it's like significantly thicker. It would be like trying to shove a gasket that's way too large into a space and expect the piece to still work properly. So by definition, what I have is a frozen shoulder. Um, I have an, uh, a severely limited range of motion compared to what I usually have. Um, and there's a lot of pain involved, but the good news is um, I can work through the pain. Uh, if I can tolerate it, I don't have to worry about the pain being a signal of things getting worse. It's actually going to be improving things. So no matter what I do, unless I do something catastrophic uh, to cause further injury, I can't make what's going on in my shoulder worse. And in fact, the worst thing that I could do is actually stop working. So I am getting back into the swing of things. Uh, Dana and I are putting together some video ideas of things that we can do that aren't too labor intensive where I need to use both arms and go crazy with like sledgehammers and stuff and other things that I'm usually doing. But um, it is affecting my business. It is affecting the amount of income that I have coming in. And life is a little bit more difficult than it should be. Um, that being said, uh, I want to thank everybody on Facebook, on YouTube, and just all of the other means of communication that we have with our friends out here on the internet. Um, we kind of went dark on both Facebook and YouTube, and people came out of the woodwork saying, Hey, what happened to you guys? Is everybody okay? And uh, that truly does mean a lot to us. Um, we know you guys are watching. We know you guys actually care about us and how we're doing. And uh, it truly does mean the world to us. So if you stayed with us this long, thank you so very much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please stick around. We are going to be picking up the pace. Um, I have to just to kind of get my arm back into like a therapeutic type of working environment because uh, I, I need to start healing this on my own. And the only way I'm going to do that is to do the work and to do the exercises they told me to do. And part of my regiment has to be coming out to the shop and it has to be making these videos because ultimately it's going to help me, it's going to help the business, it's going to help the channel, and hopefully it's going to help you guys. So until the next video, uh, this is Jeff at Dark Blue Metals and uh, I will definitely see you guys again soon.